Inside this Love's truck stop, cameras capture the aftermath. A deputy stunned and stumbling. Um, it temporarily blinded him for uh, approximately about three to five seconds. All after an attack with a weapon not measured in calibers, but in degrees. You, you don't think a hot cup of coffee is, is, a, is a weapon. Gallon County Sheriff Josh Neal says it all began with a call to 911 about a couple acting odd in a truck stop McDonald's. Video shows Deputy Oscar Sanchez and an intern arrive. He begins to talk to a man and a woman when she allegedly reaches for the deputy's gun. It's just out of camera view, but she reaches for his gun again, and this time he more aggressively touched her, pushed it away, and said, ma'am, I told you don't do that. And that's when just out of the blue, she just took the coffee and just put it in his face. That's when you see Deputy Sanchez fall to the ground. The coffee estimated to be between 150 and 180 degrees. A manager grabs a woman. Deputy Sanchez is able to get to his feet and pepper spray the woman, then cuffs her. So it was a very serious situation. Investigators say the woman is Erin Coleman, but this isn't the first time she's been charged in a bizarre crime. It was her and a guy. They were just there in our bed. Makita Toro says she and her husband returned here to their Covington home after a weekend away, only to find strangers, Coleman and a man in their bed, passed out. We honestly just were shocked that people did that. Now, 180 degree coffee has led to a third degree felony, among other charges. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.